So I'm bringing this garbage home to my wife. I've been bringing garbage home every day for the last couple months and she seems to be okay with it. At first she was a little bit surprised, but as time went by, she's gotten used to it. It's basically a tradition now. Every day I come home, my wife greets me and I just give her my garbage. She knows the question to ask too. The question is, where's your garbage? Bringing home garbage every day has become part of our lives. When she sees the car pull into the house, when she hears the door open, she knows that I have a big bag of garbage just for her. I wonder what life would be like if I came home with a gift instead of garbage. I'm bringing these complaints home to my wife. I've been complaining about my day every day for the last couple months and she seems to be okay with it. At first she was a little bit surprised, but as time went by, she's gotten used to it. It's basically a tradition now. Every day when I get home, my wife greets me and I start by whining about how terrible my day was. She knows the exact question to ask too. The question is, how was your day? Bringing home complaints to her has become part of our lives. When she sees the car pull in, when she hears the door open, she knows that I saved up all of my whining, all of my complaints just for her. I wonder what life would be like if I came home with a gift instead of complaining. So is there a cure for complaining? Yes. Well, it's not actually a cure, it's more of a question. So instead of asking how, you can ask what. I've tried this, it's super awkward, but it works. Every time I see my friend Tony, he would complain about everything. The traffic, his job, Mondays are too long, weekdays are too long, weekends are too short, his kids are too sick, his kids are too healthy, and therefore annoy him. He has kids. It's too hot outside, it's too wet outside, it's too outside outside. Does this sound familiar? Do you know anyone like this? Probably not. So I got tired of hearing the same responses. So I changed my question. Instead of asking, how was your day? I asked, what was the highlight of your day? What was the one thing that went well today? At first it was awkward, then it got really good. Um, at first it took him three minutes to come up with one thing that was good about his day. And after a while, after like two or three weeks, he would almost look forward to seeing me. And I would look forward to seeing him because I knew that the first interaction would be a good one. It would be a highlight. That story was fake, by the way. What is a true story is that this is something my wife and I do. That way, the first time we see each other, it starts on a good note. It starts with a highlight. Of course, if she comes home crying, I'm not gonna ask her what the highlight of her day was because I wanna stay married. So no one's perfect. Everyone has bad days and everyone's allowed to have bad days. It's part of being human. And everyone has the right to complain, but it doesn't mean it has to be the first thing that you start with. You get to pick the first thing you share with the people you care about. I'll say that again. You get to pick the first thing you share with the people you care about. For me, I like to start with something nice. It doesn't mean that the entire conversation is fake and nice. It just means that the conversation started off on a good note. If you give the same person trash every time you see them, you're making them your dumpster. And if somebody is making you their dumpster, change the question. This actually really works, by the way. So think of one person you want to try it on. A spouse, a coworker, family member, a friend. Anyone, it actually works. It's just awkward at first, but it actually does work. Instead of starting with garbage, maybe you can start with a gift. By the way, my wife got really excited when she saw me taking the garbage out until I told her what I was really doing. When you think of garbage, think of Akeem. <laughs>